All right, Walker Nation, what is going on? Um, yeah, it's been, uh, I don't know how long um, since I did one of these videos. I've been slacking, and I know a lot of you guys were enjoying just me talking about things, and um, I apologize for slacking. I'm going to try and get back to doing these uh, more frequently now. Um, but let's talk about my show. Um, so we are just about four weeks out from the, uh, New York pro. Um, I mean, there's not really not much to really say at this point. Um, you guys have seen what's going on all over social media. Um, you know, the whole hype between me and blessing. Um, I basically put my prep all over social media, but just to give you guys more, insight on where I'm at mentally and physically. Um, uh, mentally, I've, I honestly feel really good. Um, you know, being four weeks out, I think um, I'm ahead of schedule. I started this prep at a very uh, leaner state. Um, I was not really watery. Um, and me and Matt, we constructed a diet to where um, it allowed me a little more freedom at the same time, meaning, you know, I can go out to eat more, enjoy myself more. Um, and during the week, we, we didn't, I don't want to say we stayed restricted as far as food, but because the food was still high, but just probably not as high as normal. But the way, you know, everything was structured, it allowed me to like enjoy one full day, which we picked Sunday. And then also, you know, once in a while, I went out during the week and, you know, had a meal. And overall, even though it wasn't a long off season, it was really like, I don't know, only like two, two and a half months. It was good, man. I liked the way it went. I think it was great. You know, my weight, my, my weight got up to what it normally does, which is like two, 285-ish, I believe, you know. And like I said, I stayed, you know, relatively lean. Not so much uh, water retention and... um Overall, I was pretty thrilled with that. I was happy with that. Um, we started prep, I think, pretty pretty much after uh, New Year's, New Year, New Year's, so in January, um, we just got right to the business, and we were, you know, we just paid attention to everything week by week, um, you know, and for a long, long period of time, my weight really didn't uh, move too much, but my body was just changing and changing and changing and changing which is good, you know, I held on to everything while losing all the fat, right? Um, when all, you know, that little bit of water retention that I'm holding. Um, you know, now my weight is starting to go down. My body's really moving and grooving now, which is good. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I actually took some pics this morning and I sent them to him and I was pretty happy with what I saw today. Um, but I'm just, you guys know how I am, you know? I'm in the zone type of person. I don't give a fuck about anything outside of me right now. Um, you know, it's it's tunnel vision. You know, I'm I'm all about winning. That is that is the main goal. I train to win. And I, I don't train to be second. I don't train to be third. I don't, I don't look at this guy and say, hey, well, he'll probably beat me. So I'll probably be like third. No. No, no, that's not how it works, man. If that's if that's your if that's your fucking mindset, then get out the fucking sport, you know? I train to be number one. That's that's the only mindset I have, and that's the only mindset I want to have. And that should be the only mindset anyone ever has is to be number one. No matter what. Even if like I knew someone was probably gonna beat me, I'll never say that. Like <laughs> I'll never admit to that. I'm training to be number one. I'm training to beat you. Because let me tell you something. Even if you think like, I don't know if I could beat this guy, man. You don't know what happens on show day. You know, everyone changes on show day. The day before, they could look like they're about to win Mr. Olympia. And then come show day, they look like they probably wouldn't even win an amateur show. You never know. That's why, like, I, I always look at my competitors a little bit just to see what, you know, how they're up to, what they're doing. But I don't let it affect me because I know how this goes. You know, if you don't peak right, if, you know, something goes wrong that final week, you know, 
So I just like to see what they're up to, but like it's, I keep my head, I keep focused. You know, nothing really distracts me, nothing steers my focus, you know, and that, that's it. You know, I've been fortunate enough to be put in an environment where all I have to do is worry about winning, worry about bodybuilding, worry about, uh, you know, making sure uh, my recovery is on point, getting, you know, my deep tissues when I need it, making sure my training is what it's need to be. Like, I'm, I'm able to control every variable that I'm able to control. And I let nothing outside of that distract me. You know, there's, there's no reason to. Like, if you, if you have a goal, man, like, if you have relationship issues, get rid of it. If you have negative people in your life, get rid of them. You know, you, you need to surround yourself with positivity and positively, positivity only. And that's it. That, that's, that, that's really only it. Um, so, yeah, mentally, I feel great. You know, I, I think I'm in a good headspace. I'm in a good spot. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the best that I can. And really, that's all I can ask for from myself. No one's a worse critic than me, you know, but my main thing is win or lose that I'm able to walk off that stage knowing there was nothing more I could have done. And even though, you know, winning is the end goal, that will still, I'll still be mad, <laughs> obviously, but I will be proud of myself for doing the best that I can. And, you know, as long as you look better than the show before, you have improved, which means you're getting better, which means your time is coming. You understand? So as long as each show you're getting better, it will pay off in the end. That's that's really it. It will pay off in the end. And one of these days you're going to get the results you want. Um, but how I'm feeling, um, you know, physically right now um, I feel I do feel good in my training. Um, I can I'm definitely getting fatigued a lot quicker now. Um, strength's still pretty good. I'm not you know really pushing the strength aspect too hard. You know I'm making sure I'm pushing weight of course, but I just you know I keep the reps a little higher now um, and go to a failure in just a higher rep range. Which honestly, like if you do that, like you're not gonna shrink. You're not gonna you know lose my You you'll maintain because you're going you're just going to failure in in a different way now. Um, but that's pretty much how I trained this entire off season. Um, the brief one that I had, you know, I kept everything in like upper body, ten to ten, ten to twelve, and legs was more like twelve to twenty, sometimes thirty. Um, you know, so I and at Chicago I weigh two forty five. You know, it's very possible that I'm going to be about eight to ten pounds heavier. You know, for New York, which is exciting. You know with a smaller waist, more muscle maturity, um, improvements, you know, that we've uh, worked on, which was my upper chest, which I think is gonna be a lot better, my back, um, my uh, quad sweep is gonna be a lot better. They're more volumized, I believe now. Um, so yeah, I'm just excited, you know, I look forward to training, I look forward to getting to work. You know, I look forward to everything that's happening. Like, I love this shit. You know, as tired as it is, you get, you know, as hungry as you will get as whatever, you know, you're feeling it, it's 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 part of the game, you know, and you have to learn to live with that, especially if you enjoy this. Um, you know, if you're one to complain too much, this obviously isn't for you. Um, you know, but I look forward to this every day. You know, I love this sport. And I love everyone that, you know, supports me, which I, I have to give a huge shout out to each and every one of you. Each of every each and every one of you guys that support me literally means the world. You guys have no idea because um, I'm just I feel like I'm just a regular dude that just is making his dreams come true, just like any of you could. Um, you know, it's in the fact that you guys like me, you enjoy me, you love my content, you know. The personality that I have and all of it, like it just means the world. And I love helping each and every person that I can, um, you know, so every one of you just feel free. If you have any questions or, you know, do stories you want to tell, I'll listen. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. I enjoy that. I love, like I said, I love helping people. So feel free to always message me no matter what. 
Um, but that's that's where we're at for right now, guys. Um, you know, we're four weeks out, just about. To me, this is four weeks, you know, because tomorrow's, you know, Friday. The show is Saturday, but by this time, there's not much left to be done around, you know, that final week on a Thursday. So, to me, this is, you know, this is four weeks out now. Um, but I hope everyone um, enjoys this. Let me know. Comment below if you guys want to see more of this. I know some most of you do, but for the others that um, are new to the channel... Just let me know if you enjoy the, the whole talking aspect and, you know, let me know what you guys want to hear from me as well. Um, and we'll make that happen, but four weeks to the New York Pro. Let's get this fucking win, guys.